Hey everyone, Doc Storm here again with you today. So in today's iTeach episode, I want to show you guys pretty much how to beat a higher level opponent. Sometimes it's a very uphill battle, but you cannot give up. Just because they are over level, they have higher level cards than you, don't give up guys because it is possible to win. Now I was originally going to show you one video but uh, that one already got overlapped by my previous video so I can't watch the replays anymore. But recently again I faced another level 11. Uh, if you can look at the cards here they have level 3 legendaries. Uh, level 11 commons, level 8 rares and level 5 epics. So, uh, and they're pretty high trophy, they're 3245. But uh, let's take a look okay, at this up uphill battle here. So um, you'll see me delay the play of my princess because I have the poison spell here and I don't have my elixir collector. If my opponent did have the elixir collector, I would rather play the poison than my princess. So I waited that second there and I didn't see them play a elixir collector. So I played the princess down to not waste some time. Now my decision process here is to rush the other side because what this does is one, if my opponent doesn't react to that lane, um, I'm going to nail them. If they do react to that lane, that makes them not able to play as much supporting troops for their giant. So usually that's a good play, but my opponent did a really good thing there with the fire spirits. It killed my goblins, which pretty much are the ones that do the most damage. So here I always try to split my princess and my attacking force in two lanes. Because you can see here, um, my princess is just free damaging that tower. So now I put the poison spell there just to do some damage to that weak tower and also kill that princess off because I don't want her doing the same thing to me. So right off the bat, I'm actually in a good start. But you'll see my opponent does react to my playstyle and so he does do something differently which is quite devastating. But uh, here again, I don't have a better play. Uh, I play my elixir collector, I don't want to rush them yet. And uh, my opponent does play the miner. I know the miner is going after my elixir collector, so I play the goblins reactively um, to help save my elixir collector. But it is a level three legendary, so my goblins actually didn't do too much there. And again, a good play by my opponent with the fire spirits. It really nailed my minions, which was my main damaging force against the bowler. So here I'm in really bad shape. Uh, the thing with higher level opponents is. Their cards do so much more damage compared to your towers and your units that if you let them target you for a long time, you are in deep trouble. Deep, deep trouble because they take away your tower very easily. Now the miner there played in the middle in case I can lure that prince over. But even if it didn't, that's not a problem because as you can see, there's 45 seconds left, not a lot of time. And there's a lot of HP in their tower. So I really needed um, to push that side because if I didn't I would have lost anyways and my efforts were not in vain I did take down that tower with the help of my zap and my mini P.E.K.K.A. So here again I'm just trying my best to rush the other side because again um, you keep an eye on how much elixir your opponent has uh, I knew at that time he was quite starved and I did have my elixir collector so I was up with the elixir a little bit so here I am trying my best to rush that tower I know that if I can get that tower down, I have a fighting chance of winning. I save my zap just for that last damage and here I'm just surviving. Try to kill the princess, put the goblins at the back so that the bowler doesn't finish off my goblins because it does do an area damage effect in a straight line. And then here my efforts paid off. It was great win. It's always nice to win against someone that much higher level than you with that much higher level cards. But as you guys can see, it is definitely doable. You just have to not give up, try to play your best, try to manage the two lanes properly, try to know when to push. When to push usually means um, you kind of have to anticipate how much elixir your opponents use. Because in this case, bowler costs six, giant costs five. So in a rough sense, you can kind of gauge uh, by how fast they play those two cards so that you know how around how much elixir they have left and then for you to make a good rush and not get countered right off the bat right and then also you have to make sure you save enough troops uh, for your defense my opponent did have fire spirits which was pretty much the bane of my deck because it kills my minion kills my goblins the only thing i really do have to defend against it is my zap but as you can see here guys 
I do try to use my zap spell, but sometimes I'm either elixir starve or I try to use it for other utility to try to help me uh, get the tower down. So again, um, it was a very uphill battle, but it's definitely doable guys. So don't give up. That's pretty much the tip of the day, if you want to call it. So guys, again, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, again, I'm going to try to show you more videos about the current meta. Uh, what I mean by the current meta is common decks that um, opponents are using. Um, so for example, you'll see the Royal Giant decks a lot. You'll still see the Hog decks a lot. Um, you'll see giant decks a lot actually. I don't know if you guys realize, uh, but a lot of times now you see like a similar hog deck like before, but instead of using the hog, they use the giant. So if you look at the TV Royale here, uh, you'll see some decks here, um, like a typical, like this one here with the Chinese player in the middle, uh, rank 165. So typically decks like this, um, they can run, maybe they used to run a hog but now it's switched to giant. So people are trying new things and I think that's what um, Supercell is trying to do. They're trying to open up uh, the arena to more uh, more decks, more different types of decks. So uh, people don't uh, always fight the same decks. It's less boring and uh, I guess people complain less too about that. And it, in general, it makes the game more interesting. So in a way, I do like what Supercell is doing. Um, trying to diversify what we play here um, so good job to them I know that it's uh, it's hard trying to balance a game but uh, I know they try their best so uh, good job to them um, you still see one of the very common decks is this deck that uh, I like running myself is the hog rider deck with the poison spell um, so it is still very effective even though they nerfed the hog rider another good change I find with supercell is the uh, uh, goblin barrel you do see a lot more top decks and uh, people playing Goblin Blair, uh, Barrel. So that's also a good change. And here you see Nova uh, ranked 108 uh, with the Chinese characters. Uh, this minor deck is actually very common up uh, in the higher arena levels. So it's definitely something to uh, look at also. Uh, if you have those cards, I guess uh, you can try that deck out as well. And then uh, good luck with everyone uh, with this game. So again, guys, I hope you liked um, this video and uh, clash on, guys. See you next time.